Virginia Tech coach Seth Greenberg still has hopes for a trip to the big dance. His Hokies got 17 points from Malcolm Delaney in a 65-47 win over Miami in the opening round of the ACC tournament. Virginia Tech put the game away with a 14-0 second half run, but they seemed to get a boost after opening a 14-point lead in the first half. I can't name too many games where we win a halftime winning, and the majority was down like 10, so we always had to come and fight back, which we did a good job of, but um, just to add a lead and if it was playing like we were playing, I think kind of gave us some confidence going into the second half. A.D. Vasayo added 14 points and eight rebounds for the Hokies, who improved to 18 and 13. I think Coach did a great job preparing us the last couple of days for this game, and I mean, hopefully for today, we take our game plan and execute it tomorrow, and we just got to go out there and play as hard as we can. Considered a bubble team, the Hokies entered this game tied with Maryland and Miami for seventh place in the conference with a 7-9 record. The Hokies will try to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive Friday when they face top-ranked North Carolina in the quarterfinals. We're not going into the game thinking about the NCAA tournament at all. I think that's why we played so good today. We're looking at it as a fresh start, and uh, we want to know in the season right now. So I think when we come out tomorrow, it's not going to be about uh, what people saying on ESPN. It's just going to be about Virginia Tech against North Carolina and uh, what we need to do to beat them. The Hurricanes fall to 18 and 12 and leave Atlanta pondering their postseason hopes. Obviously, I think we needed this game to play in the NCAA tournament, and uh, um, you know, probably we'll we'll get an NIT invite, and uh, we got to get our guys ready to, to accept that and, and 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 play very well. In other ACC action Thursday, Georgia Tech upset 17th-ranked Clemson 86-81. John Klobuchar, the Associated Press.